The ninth song of ascents is Psalm 128. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you. Blessed are those who seek you, O God. Happy are they all who fear the Lord and who follow in God's ways. You shall eat the fruit of your labor. Happiness and prosperity shall be yours. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children like olive shoots round about your table. The one who fears the Lord shall thus indeed be blessed. Blessed are those who love you, happy those who follow you. Blessed are those who seek you, O God. Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you live to see your children's children. May peace be upon Israel. Blessed are those who love you. Those who follow you, blessed are those who seek you, O God. Psalm 128 affirms that fruitfulness of family and work derives from God. Indeed, all fruitfulness of any kind derives from God. In this psalm, everything comes back to that beatitude expressed in verse 1. Happy is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. While the psalm as a whole might seem to suggest that family and material riches that come from the fruit of one's labor are the greatest reward, what it really teaches us is that we should recognize God's sovereignty and that his power is the true source of all goodness in the world. That all comes to a head when in the last two verses it's implied that only the Lord God can bless us, grant us earthly prosperity, long life, and peace. Remember, each time you feel satisfaction in your work, each time you have food on your table, each time you see the people that you love, God, as the source of all goodness, is responsible for that smile on your face and that gratitude in your heart. Peace be upon you until we see each other again, and until that time, wear your mask and wash your hands.